Welcome to my channel, No Fraud Productions. My name is E, and today I'm going to be doing my weekend sneaker rotation for the month of August 2024. So, check it out. Welcome to the channel, No Fraud Productions, where I like to make content revolving around sneakers and music. So, if you're into that, consider hitting that subscribe button. It costs you nothing to pay me a little mind to hit that subscribe button. Do all the other YouTube formalities, like, comment, and plus subscribe. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into this uh, weekend rotation for the month of August 2024. Kicking it off on Friday, August 2nd, I pulled out the Nike Air Max 1 and the Big Bubble. Retro shoe, nice shoes. You can see they have the um, size in there. Stitched in there, embroidered in there, I mean. Nice shoe, comfortable, classic shoe. So I started off the month of August on a Friday the 2nd with these shoes right here. I like these shoes, very comfortable. So picked these, brought these out. I like the, um, the red around the toe box. Just a classic shoe. Whenever I see this shoe, it makes me think of old school D-Boys though. But uh, I, I like these shoes. Um, very dope shoe. Saturday, August 3rd, I brought out SB Dunk and the Deep Royal Blue, aka the Leonardo's, because of the colorway on these, reminds me of the Ninja Turtles, Leonardo to be exact, with the blue. I really enjoy SB Dunks. Uh, the quality is usually nice on SBs. Some people say they're not, but I find them. I find them to be comfortable. So. I do feel comfortable wearing my SBs. They're comfortable. I go through the size. And I, I like this shoe, man. It's a dope shoe. I like the color, the color contrast on this shoe. Like I said, it reminds me of the Ninja Turtles. Growing up, I was a huge Ninja Turtle fan. Um, so I, what can I say? I saw these. I went at them. I, was, I hit them. So dope shoe, you know. Nike Dunk SB for August 3rd. This is what I pulled out. Very comfortable shoe. The materials on these shoes are very nice. I like how the swoosh is in um, like a cream color. Dope shoe, man. August 3rd. This August 3rd, yeah. August 3rd, Saturday, was the, the Nike SB Dunk Low in the Deep Royal Blue colorway, a.k.a. the Leonardo's. Sunday, August 4th, I pulled out a pair of Yeezys. These are like my only 350 V2s that I have, so... I pulled these out, Yeezy, three, 350 V2s in the slate colorway. I like these, man. They're very comfortable. You can't go wrong with Yeezys when it comes to comfort. It has the Supply 350 stripe on it. No pull tab in the back, but I do like how you can see the um, three stripes right there in the back. Has the boost, of course, you know, Yeezys. Super comfortable. I mean, really like a summery shoe, I would imagine. I feel like because, you know, the knitter, the knitting around the whole shoe is just, you're going to have some frozen toes if you try to wear these in the winter. So, nice, comfortable shoe. So, I pulled these out August 4th. Was the Yeezy V2 uh, 350 in the slate colorway. Skip to the next weekend, which was Saturday, August 10th. I pulled out a shoe that I haven't worn in a while. But I do like this shoe, so I pulled out another Dunk, but not a SB. This one is just a regular Dunk. But this was a collab with Undefeated 5 on it, is what they're called, because it has five different materials across the shoe. I uh, really like this shoe. I believe I hit these on a restock on the Sneakers app. I didn't get them when they first released, but I do like these shoes. You know, not too bad with kind of when it comes to comfort. You know, they're not an SB, so they don't have all that extra cushioning cushion in them. So, but pretty dope yeah, after all. Either way, I do like the different colors. I like the way the blue, the purple. I like how the um, hairy suede on the swoosh. I like how you have the uh, five stripe on the side right there. I like the snake skin around the toe box. Dope shoe. So this was my Saturday August tenth shoe was the Nike Dunk Low Undefeated Collab 5 on it. Okay, Sunday, August 11th, 
I decided I keep that going, that thing going a little bit. So I pulled out the Air Force One for that pack for the dunks that I wore the day before. And this is the Nike Air Force One undefeated collab with the five on it as well. So this was the part of the pack. It came with this and the dunk. They did a couple of packs uh, undefeated in Nike. They do dunks and S uh, dunks and um, Air Force One. So they usually come with, you know, one of each. This one is dope, you know, it's called Five on it as well because it has five different materials around the shoe. Um, and this also has the five stripes right there on the back. It has the swoosh in that snake skin material that goes around the toe box of the dunk. It has the hairy suede around the toe box of this that goes on the swoosh of the dunk. So they kind of reverse that. It has the red um snake skin for the back where it's nike air on the tongue it has the five stripes right there dope dope shoe comfortable air force ones classic staple shoe in new york you know so this was my sunday august 11th shoe was the nike air force one and the undefeated collab five on it jump to the next weekend which was saturday august 17th I pulled out a shoe that is primarily a summer shoe in my opinion because if you can look it has netting all around um, so there's no like nothing to stop your foot from getting the cold wind especially in New York when it gets cold so these are definitely a summer shoe in my opinion so I figured I'll pull these out again being that it was August 17th these are the Jordan 11 lows in the IE Jordan actually wore these in a couple of games, so this dope. I like this shoe. Retro reminds me of back in high school or when I was a kid. Nice shoe. Comfortable. Like I said, it has the netting around it, so it's very breathable for hot days. Pull this out in the summertime. Jordan Low. Jordan 11 Low in the IE. You know, in a bread colorway, but the IE. These are the bread colorways for the lows right here. Sunday, August 18th, I pulled out a Air Max 1, but it's an Air Max 1 by you. I created, um, I styled this on the Nike app. My thoughts on designing this, I just put a bunch of colors that I thought looked nice together. They were given the Safari print around the front, um, the Safari print that time, so I just decided to make it. Like this, I've chose a little hairy suede for the toe box. I have the safari, you know, around the mud guard. I have black leather on the side tab, but the swoosh is in a darker black with gray spots um, safari print. And more of the hairy suede around the heel tab. And on the back it says Nike, and I have NFP for the channel. No Fraud Productions, had to represent. The laces, I went with thick rope laces on these, but they also came with the regular set of laces in the same color. I just put these colors together because I thought they looked nice, but it kind of, you know, it gives that safari theme for the Nike shoes. Yeah, so this was my shoe for August 18th, Sunday. I pulled out the Nike Air Max 1 by you, which was by me, so this is by E for No Fraud Productions right here. Fast forward to the next weekend, August 24th, I pulled out another pair of Yeezys, and this time in the wash orange, these are the Yeezy 700s. I do not have the Wave Runners, so this was like the constellation prize for that, I guess. They're very similar to the Wave Runners, just a little darker around the top, and, um, and it's not white where it's orange, so... Kinda similar shoe, very comfortable shoe. Like I said, Yeezys come with the boost, as you see on the bottom. Very comfortable shoe. I like how this shoe feels, like a bulky shoe. I guess these are like one of the original dad shoes, as they say, so definitely like these. The materials on these are dope, man. The materials are very good on Yeezys usually, so Yeezy 700 in the washed orange colorway. Nice shoe right here, comfortable shoe too. If you don't have your pair of Yeezys in your collection, man, you don't know your feet are missing out because these are super comfortable. So this is August 24th, washed orange 700 Yeezys. Sunday, August 25th, 
I decided to undies a pair of shoes that I haven't worn. So I pulled out the Jordan One Low, and uh, I believe this was the Beach Coral. You know, the pink coral, maybe I don't know. I can't remember the exact name of it, but undies these shoes. Nice summertime looking shoe. You know, the pink Jordan One Low OG with the uh, Jordan wings embroidery in the back. Uh, nice size swoosh. It's not the jumbo swoosh, but nice size swoosh. Also has like this crackle leather around the toe box. Pink on the toe box and pink on the heel. With pink Nike Air on the tongue, written on the tongue right here. And pink insoles. This shoe kind of is special to me because I hit this shoe when I was in Maui. And... My phone was set to like, you know, Eastern Standard Time, so I had to get up 4 in the morning, which was 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, to enter for these. I entered for the highs, too. They had the high with the gray, where it's pink hair, it's gray, but it was high top. I didn't hit, but I hit on these, so that was dope, man. And um, nice shoe right here. Really like this shoe. Comfortable, fly shoe. I feel like I'm getting my cam on when I wear these, you know, rocking the pink. So this was August 25th right here. Jordan 1 low in the bleach coral colorway. Fast forward to the next Saturday, which was the last Saturday of the month, August 31st. I pulled out a shoe I haven't worn in a while. And that is the Air Jordan 6 Travis Scott collab in the British khaki colorway. I believe, when I, I hit on these on the sneakers app, first and foremost, which was a super shock. I think the stocks was super low on this. The stock numbers was like 44,000, I believe. I entered on this on my way home from work, and I I didn't even check. I just saw that um, my bank my bank account got hit for a fee of like two something. So I'm like, wait a minute. So I looked on the app and got the got em screen on these, and I was super psyched. It's like my only Travis Scott that I have in my collection. I like that the tongue glows in the dark. The heel tab. The little lace lock right there. And the bottom of the shoe glows in the dark. I do like this shoe, man. I, have, I don't wear these enough. You know, it has the Cactus Jack right there on the inside. And on the back of the right shoe, it says Cactus Jack. I had to grab this real quick. The back of the right shoe, it says Cactus Jack. The back of the other shoe says Nike Air. Dope shoe has the hidden pockets on here. Like the olive ones only had this pocket right here. But these come with the zip stash pocket right here too. So dope, you know. Happy to have these in my collection. This is what I ended the month of August wearing. The British Khaki Jordan 6s. Travis Scott collabs. So that was it for August for me. You know, those are the shoes that I wore. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what shoe was your favorite out what I wore this month. And if you have any of these shoes. So hit me in the comment section. Let's talk about it. I appreciate you checking out my video. And if you made it this far, check out one of these videos that YouTube recommends for you. And subscribe to the channel. My name is E. The channel is No Fraud Productions if you don't know by now. And if you do know by now, hit the subscribe button. I would deeply appreciate it. Thanks for checking out the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.